has Ottawa, Canada been on your bucket list as a place where you want to travel? Probably not. It wasn't on mine. And the only reason I recently went to Ottawa was that it was on the itinerary for the Eastern Canada Explorer Tour that I signed up for with Mayflower Tours. This tour was eight days, and it started and ended in Buffalo, New York, and then went to Ottawa, Toronto, the Thousand Islands, and ended up in Niagara Falls. All I knew about Ottawa was that it was the capital of Canada, and I expected it to have a lot of tall government buildings, but I really didn't expect anything else. <laughs> I was pleasantly surprised. Let me show you what Ottawa, Canada has to offer. Hi, I'm Sandy from Sandy Over 70. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. It's free and will help me grow my channel. I love hats and I generally bring home a new hat from the places that I travel to. And this trip was no exception. So, this is my new hat from Canada. What do you think? I've been wanting to do this trip for several years, but Canada has been very strict about who can come and go from their country during COVID. Now we are allowed to go in if we've been vaccinated, but we must upload an app to our phones called Arrive Can, and we must have it completed three days before our arrival in Canada. This app required that we fill in a lot of information and take photos of our COVID vaccination cards and our passports. I did all this and was issued a number which we're supposed to present at the border. The first day of the trip was spent at a hotel in Buffalo, and the next morning we set out in our bus to cross the border. We actually didn't cross the border until later in the day because the itinerary took us along the southern edge of Lake Ontario. However, when we did arrive at the border, there was quite a line of cars. We waited 45 minutes to get to the immigration office, and then it was only 15 minutes to process us. We all had to get out of the bus and take our documents to the desk in the office. They never asked for our COVID cards, but they did check our passports. So we have arrived at the Hotel Elgin in Ottawa around 6.30 after being on the road all day, although we did make two stops. It seems to be in the heart of the city and um, seems to be quite an elegant hotel and I think we'll enjoy our two nights here. Taking an after dinner walk in Ottawa. Let's see, what street are we on? Hmm. Oh, Elgin Street, which is the name of our hotel. So this Elgin Street is quite lively on a Saturday night. There's scooters to rent behind me and a nice statuary. Elgin Street is the downtown core of Ottawa. It was named after Lord Elgin. I originally pronounced it Elgin, but was told the correct pronunciation is Elgin. It has a village-like feel and contains dining, nightlife, entertainment, and shopping. When we walked past the city hall, I heard some music and decided to follow the sound. We saw this sign and I knew I wanted to go in there and watch the performers. It was very crowded, but we purchased a couple of tickets and found some seats. Here's what we saw. Thank you. 
Immediately after the show, there was a big fireworks display. Look how beautiful it looks behind this fountain. What an amazing night this has turned out to be in Ottawa. First we stumbled upon the Great India Festival, and then we had the most spectacular fireworks. Wow, sometimes it's when you least expect it, you find these wonderful experiences when traveling. And that's what we had tonight. After the festival, we felt a little hungry and took a table outside at Brown's Social House and ordered this delicious carrot cake. I kept watching to see who this limousine might be waiting for, but I never did find out. The next morning, we had a city tour with this local guide. I am here to transform you into the magic of history, my friends, at Depressed. This is Rideau Hall in Ottawa where the queen stays when she visits. In fact, all the dignitaries stay here. It's also the home and workplace of the governor general. And it's a park, the gorgeous park here for the public. It's open to the public and we're walking around it now. Rideau Hall has been the home and workplace of the Governor General since 1867. The Governor General represents the Queen in Canada. There are 79 acres of rolling lawns, winding paths, forests, and gardens modeled on the style of an English country estate. The trees of Rideau Hall also have a ceremonial and diplomatic role. Many of the trees have been planted by visiting heads of states, members of the royal family, or other dignitaries to mark an important event or anniversary. This particular tree was planted by John F. Kennedy. Parliament Hill, known as the Hill, is an area of crown land on the southern banks of the Ottawa River in downtown Ottawa. Its Gothic Revival suite of buildings and their architectural elements of national symbolic importance is the home of the Parliament of Canada. Looking for a place to eat in the popular Byward Market area? We decided on the Lux restaurant. Okay, so we're in this adorable little cafe. We're going to have lunch here. We decided to eat inside because it's really hot here. Let's take a look at the menu. Those prices are in Canadian money, so in American money it would be slightly less. After lunch, I really enjoyed looking in all these stores. And isn't this a cute display of Adirondack chairs for people to rest in? I was tempted to buy a hat in the hat store I was looking in right there, but uh, I couldn't quite find exactly what I wanted. Next, we boarded our boat for a one-hour cruise past generations of beautiful old cottages and summer homes in the town of Gananoque on the Ottawa River. Our guide narrated the tour in rapid French followed by rapid English translations. We were quite impressed. We had a 45-minute guided tour in the Canadian Museum of History. Sometimes I wish we could just wander alone through these giant museums as the volunteer guides often give us too much information about a small portion of the museum. The thing that impressed me the most was this portrait of a family that lived over 4,000 years ago. It's a 3D model created from each of the skulls. Look at it closely and you might think they are alive. Decorating mailboxes and utility boxes is something that's unique to Canada, and I think it's a wonderful idea. Finally, I can't leave without mentioning beaver tails. No, they have nothing to do with the actual beaver, which is the Canadian national animal, but Canada decided to name a snack after them. Have you been to Ottawa? Did you enjoy it? Let us know in the comments below. And please, subscribe to my channel. It would really help me out. 
Have a great day. And if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up.